Welcome to the video lecture on time invariance of a system. In this video, we'll consider a discrete time system y of n is equal to n into x of n. The task is to determine is this system time invariant or not. To begin with, the definition of time invariance says that a shift in the input must lead to an identical shift in the output. For that, we'll consider a shift in the input. And we already know that x of n is the input and y of n is the output. So I'll consider input x of n and I'll consider a shift. So I'll consider x of n minus n naught. So I'll consider this a shift in the input. Now I'll give this to a system of operator h so that I'll get the output y of n. So h is the nature of the system. So the nature of the system here is, try to understand that, whatever we feed in, it multiplies with n and gets you the output. So if we feed in x of n, it multiplies with n and gets you y of n. So now I am feeding x of n minus n naught, so it multiplies with n and gets you the output. So that I will get n into x of n minus n naught. This is what I get in the first half. So next I have to consider a shift in the output. So output signal is y of n and shift in the output means y of n minus n naught. So I already have the expression for y of n. So here it is y of n is equal to n into x of n. To get y of n minus n naught I have to replace every n with n minus n naught in the expression of y of n. So if I do that, so I'll replace n with n minus n naught into x of n. So again, n comes here. I replace that with n minus n naught. So this is what I get in the second half, a shift in the output. So as by comparing these two, they are not equal. Therefore, I can say that the given system is not time invariant. Or it also means that the given system is time variant. 